Wait, is Dale Winter the one who did Supermarket Sweep? Ugh. When I was in third year, me and my housemates used to play Supermarket Sweep. The security guy at Tesco's would be like, you need to stop because this is too much. My name's Mason. I grew up on the border of Surrey. I grew up in a village, it's super duper tiny, called Liss. Two trains an hour. So now I live in a place I can't pronounce, Clenethley. Every single Welsh person's gonna kill me for that. I truly love Wales, it's so much friendlier. I think the first time I like maybe even thought I was gay, I think it was Dylan. Dylan was my sexual awakening. Dylan from Casualty. I must have been about eight years old. That's Dylan. That beautiful, blonde, absolute stunner. I think he died in the end. I think he was shot. And I didn't watch it ever again. So I came out to mum. I was 18 at the time. I went home and I was like, mum, let's have a chat. And she, she said to me, do I have to turn the TV off for this? So yeah, yeah, turn it off. And she just went to me, do you like boys? Yeah, and she was like, fantastic. Are you in for dinner? That was it. So, short conversation. I fully expected some sort of party. I wanted balloons, everything. There's an episode of Ugly Betty and Justin comes out. They fully give him a pinata and there's rainbows and everything. And I was like, that's what coming out is. And I got absolutely none of it. Christian from EastEnders, that was a different kind of vibe for me though, because number one, he's a fair amount older than me. Secondly, he's got huge muscles, tiny head though. He was just so masculine. It made me like challenge my own stereotypes of gay. When you're younger, you're drawn to people because you look for like guidance in society. You are given like cues. Now I'm 24, I look more towards queer media than I do towards straight media for those kind of cues. When I was younger, Facebook wasn't a thing. It was Bebo. The greatest social media network of all time. It was there that I first saw anything from queer as folk. I was like, ah, gay people? But this is TV. It was a real chance to learn about gay culture because I'd never been to a gay bar before my first year of uni. And it fully thrusts you into that like world. Representation is one of the biggest driving forces into more people being accepting and educating, and TV is the best way to do it. I truly believe RuPaul's Drag Race is the most diverse representation on TV that you can find. Queer men, the occasional trans person, black people, white people, Latinos, people that speak different languages, and the whole thing is a message of love. Also, you can follow the journey. It doesn't end. That's the best part, I think, because the show ends and you just get to follow them, like Trixie and Karcher. I loved them, and now they've got their own show, and I can watch it all the time. Sex education is really good, and it's in Wales. You see the relationship between a gay man and a straight boy, but they're best friends. When I was younger, more so, it was always like the thing that, you no, you're gonna try and sleep with me. And I'm like, no, you may be a boy, that doesn't mean when I sleep with you. Seeing representation like that on TV, it allows for straight guys to not receive as much weirdness from their other friends. For me, as a mixed race gay man, it's difficult to find a protagonist. Which is weird because I mean, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few of us. The closest I get to being like, oh, we're the same as Justin from Ugly Betty. Because we were around the similar age. He likes magazines, I like magazines. He's gay, I'm gay. The only difference is that he got a pinata and I didn't. Like, that's pretty much the only difference. When Pose came out, I was like, oh, this is great. So many black people, so many people of colour, everyone's gay, everyone's trans, it's just so good. And also it's like a great TV show, which I think is important because you can have a whole load of gay people make a TV show, but if it's not any good, people aren't going to watch it, people aren't going to pay attention. The more people that watch, the more people that are educated, the more people that learn. And everyone's really attractive on that show. Like, weirdly attractive, it's somewhat annoying.